What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Skizzo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, D. I and Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. No oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit and maybe hasn't slept in days, you reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just the same. Earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addie, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we need to do this arm. and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Don't you oh, Don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no. De no, you're not No way. No, you're not going to do this. Deacon, listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is going to save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him. Stay away. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right. Hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Dick. Dick. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, goodness, ah! No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and I'm trying. <laughs> Hey, you did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addie. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! 
Get out here! I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself! You are writing checks with other men's blood! I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. 